Hello, this is your Congressman Michael Burgess. November is American Diabetes Month. It's dedicated to center the nation's attention on those who are affected by the disease and the concerns surrounding diabetes. Nearly 26 million children and adults in the United States have diabetes. Another 79 million Americans are at risk for developing type 2 diabetes. And it's projected that by 2050, one in three American adults will have diabetes unless appropriate steps are taken to resolve this endocrine disease. In fact, in Texas alone, it is predicted that diabetes will cost the state $52 billion by the year 2025. While many are familiar with juvenile and adult onset diabetes, gestational diabetes affects many women during their pregnancy and is increasing in frequency. Up to 18% of all pregnancies in the United States are unable to produce and use insulin needed for their body to function normally. This has dangerous health consequences for both mother and child. During my 25-year medical practice as an obstetrician, I saw far too many expectant mothers and newborn babies affected by gestational diabetes. This Congress, I introduced the Gestational Diabetes Act to help combat the risk pregnant mothers face. This legislation would provide resources, for the first time focused on gestational diabetes, and provide for better data collection. The statistics speak for themselves. Mothers diagnosed with gestational diabetes are more likely to develop adult onset diabetes later in life, and their children are at increased risk not only for diabetes, but for other prenatal and postnatal complications as well. This bill will improve detection and lead to more effective preventive measures that will reduce clinical costs for the patients as well as for the state's budget. Thank you for taking the time to listen. For more information about National Diabetes Month and other issues before the United States Congress, please visit my website at burgess.house.gov. May God bless you and your family, and as always, may God bless our Texas.